We could see some showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon across North Central Florida. They're generally going to be moving from the southeast to the northwest. They did start around the first coast this morning and they did move to the northwest. In fact, we could be dealing with some heavy rain potentially in Gainesville later on this afternoon into the early evening hours. It'll continue moving to the northwest. Some activities possible to the north of I-10, but most of it should stay to the south. The good news is though across our area it will be a dry evening by 10 o'clock, but it's not going to stay like that for long. I'll have more information on that in just one moment. This afternoon though, rain chances will be highest before 6 o'clock, about a 30 percent chance of rain going down to about 20 and 10 percent chance by midnight. Also notice one thing, these temperatures aren't cooling down much, so we're in store for a muggy Monday morning across north central Florida. Our temperatures are going to be 71 degrees in Gainesville, 70 degrees in Lake City, and 71 degrees in Ocala. And if you're noticing this very strong breeze out of the northwest, that's actually that front that's going to be approaching. We have a cold front that's going to be moving through on Monday. I'm going to show you the timetable of when that will be moving through. We're going to start some showers and storms around the nature coast by around 3 o'clock on Monday. And this activity will continue to press to the east and by Gainesville 7 o'clock heavy rain as possible also towards Lake City and this will continue to press to the east throughout the day and we could see some lingering activity until about midnight across north central Florida. The good news is though behind that front there is much drier and cooler air so it's going to start to feel like fall once again across north central Florida. Once again today will be warm with those afternoon showers and storms possible. They'll become more numerous tomorrow, more widespread Monday, but they'll become stronger. We could see some heavy rain, even some frequent lightning, and even damaging winds can't be ruled out with the strongest of the storms. The good news is, though, Tuesday we dry out and we cool down. In fact, some days we'll see our, our temperatures struggling to reach 70 during the day, but we could be in the mid 40s one day this week.